All right, you guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick, refreshing, easy horchata recipe. Anybody can customize this to make it your own. So if you wanna learn how to do it, stay tuned and watch. All right, you guys, for our ingredients today, long grain rice, ground cinnamon, evaporated milk, and vanilla extract. Almonds. All right, you guys. So in the blender, I already put in two cups of regular room temp water. Nothing fancy, just water. And now we're gonna be putting in two cups of our rice. Go ahead and get a measuring cup, measure it out. Okay. I'm gonna put that in the blender. Next, we're gonna take our almonds. And use about a half of a cup. Okay, it's about a half a cup right here. <clears throat> now we're gonna take our evaporated milk We're gonna also pour that in the blender as well. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and pulse this until the rice is really as small as you can get it. Probably about two minutes or so should do it. Right, you guys to this mixture now that we've went ahead and blended it all up we're gonna add about one teaspoon of the cinnamon Guys, now I went ahead and put in the cinnamon. Let's give it another quick blend. All right, now everything is all mixed together. You guys are gonna let this sit for a minimum of three hours, nothing less. We're gonna really soften up that rice right now just by letting it sit here, and we'll check back in about three hours, all right? All right, you guys, so it has been probably about three hours. We're gonna go ahead and really quickly blend this again one more time because it should be softened now. All right, now to this, we're gonna add sugar. All 
right, to this, I'm gonna add about one third cup of sugar. But this is all based on personal preference. If you guys want it sweeter, do it sweeter. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with one third cup. I feel like that should be enough. Go ahead and put it on the blender one more time. Okay. just with a spoon taste it if you want it more sweeter go ahead and make it more sweeter it's pretty good keep in mind you guys are going to be adding water to this too so you will be diluting it i'm going to go ahead and do another half of that one third cup i'm going to blend it again rice and almond you guys gotta do this slow too because there's so much of that in there that you're gonna have to dump the strainer after a while okay get it all out too. You want all that good flavor. Okay. Dump it out. Do it again. And it does get messy, you guys. You could do this into probably a bigger pot. And then you guys can take that pot when it's done and pour it into a pitcher if you want to. Probably less mess, but then you'd have to wash another pot. All right. off real quick and I'll show you when we're done all right you guys so I went ahead and strained it all and I added in about five cups of cold water all right let's give it a good little stir and again we're gonna taste it sugar so I'm gonna add in more sugar again this is personal preference with the sugar you guys some people like the rochata to be really sweet some don't like it really sweet some like it more grainier which you guys could leave some of that rice mixture in there at the bottom some don't some like it smooth I'm just giving you guys the recipe and you guys can pretty much customize it however you guys want all right you guys really steer the bottom because that sugar tends to set at the bottom
I'm gonna add a little bit more. Because I like mine sweet. You don't want to taste the top and then it's not sweet. You keep adding more and really the sugar's at the bottom, just building up. It'll be a surefire way to ruin it all. All right. Perfect. Okay. So it's basically done. What I like to do is I like to add a little bit more cinnamon to the top. That's a really good flavor. And that's pretty much it. This is what you guys are gonna get, okay?